Welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Alex Lord. Yesterday in the game, Pete Alonzo, who in game one was talking a little smack. The Braves talk a little smack. Some people were saying, oh, is there going to be a, a hit by pitch? Are they going to throw one at his ear hole? I said, listen, one, the Braves never do that. The Braves have watched Ronald Acuna get hit like eight times and have never retaliated. They're not going to retaliate. For, for, first of all, they did retaliate. They won the game. Like that's the last lap. They don't, there's no point for them to need to like hit him in the ear hole. They're already feeling like crap. Why don't you go out there and beat him again? Why risk losing a game and giving them a little momentum when you can step on their necks and break their pride? Who cares about hurting someone or, or, or stupid mind games? And, and that, that stuff's all so stupid. The Braves don't play that way. Brian Snicker doesn't play that way. But in Pete Alonzo's first at bat, he gets hit by a 97 mile per hour fastball. Purely accidental. Charlie Morton is not the type of pitcher to do that. He's been in the league for almost 20 years. Never been one to do something like that. And Pete Alonzo even came out after the game, despite Mets fans being up in arms saying, oh, it was on purpose. It was on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. Pete Alonzo had some com comments after the game saying Chuck was there after he came out of the game, after Pete Alonzo went and got x-rays done, apologizing, saying it obviously wasn't on purpose. He nipped that in the bud. And as much as I hate Pete Alonzo, he gained some respect for me there. That was the first time I was like, all right, I'm not going to make fun of you for a little bit at least. Yeah, I agree 100%. I love the comments he shared. And he immediately nixed any any narrative about, you know, this was going to happen. This is going to even escalate from here. I saw a, a, a guy on Twitter with 50,000 followers who reports on the Mets talking about, I, I see a brawl coming soon. And I just want to remind all of you Braves fans that your disdain for Mets fans has nothing to do with how the players feel about each other. This isn't like the early 2000s Yankees Red Sox where those guys actually did not like each other. The Braves and Mets have a mutual respect for one another. First of all, just like you said, the Braves are not going to hit somebody. They've had a hundred chances over the past year to hit every Marlins player and refuse to do so. Snicker isn't going to allow that. And then even if we get all past that, it's not going to be Charlie freaking Morton, who is Uncle Charlie to the entire league, not just to the Braves. He is Uncle Charlie to the whole league. He is not going to do that. Um, I gained a ton of respect for how Pete handled this. Um, I still don't like the guy, but uh, I, I have to tip my hat to him. He handled it like a man. And, and I wanted to also talk a little bit about, you know, the animosity between the Braves and Mets fans and, you know, how it can be taken too far sometimes. Guys, it's a game. We all love to talk smack, and I think that's great for the rivalry. Uh, you know, this is the first game, the first series uh, of the Braves season where it felt like there were real playoff implications. It felt like September, October baseball. And, you know, that's great for the game and great for us, but – Guys, again, it's just a game. There's no need to, like, look at the players and how they handle it. They're the ones actually playing. It doesn't need to go too far and be taken to a personal level. I, I get DMs on the regular when these series come with people being like, oh, you classless fan base, like you cheering for Pete Alonzo, which I don't, I don't agree with. Like, I don't agree with the injury. Listen, if he got plunked in the leg and you wanted to cheer, that'd be one thing. But I don't know if a lot of fans knew that he got injured and could have broken his wrist or really saw it. So, I don't think, but I don't agree with it, it, it cheering any injuries. Like, I don't. I think they were more cheering for a hit by pitch about last last night, whatever. Still don't necessarily agree with it. But they're, like, tweeting at me, like, like I control this. Like, like I, it's my control. I'm like, bro, I was at a gas station 25 miles away. Like, I didn't even see what happened. I was listening on the radio. Like, what do you want me to do? I, I Like, I don't control the fan base. Like, this is this has nothing to do with me. So, yeah, there's there is some – annoying. I mean, I love it. I, I think it's fun. I think it's part of the game. I think some people take it too far on both sides. Um, but the players themselves, as I, as I try to say all the time, when people are like, oh, they beamed Acuna on purpose and stuff like that. I'm like, no, they didn't. Like Acuna is well liked among like all players, like all of Like if, if you ask players who their favorite player is, a lot of them, especially foreign players say Ronald Acuna, like he is very well liked. They're not going to like want their team to go out there and hit and try to injure him, especially after he just came off a serious injury. It's just not going to happen. But coming up after the break, we had some huge news, and we're not huge soccer guys in the soccer world. Lionel Messi is coming to the U.S.